Hi there, we are here seeing a very interesting technique from Jujutsu, actually with a very curious uh, explanation on anthropology aspects of its use. That is the Hebi. Okay, so Hebi is a serpent, it's a snake. So when we're talking about this technique, it means that before, uh, on the, uh, during the, some uh, social uh, confusions that may have in the streets, they had not the order of arresting someone strictly, but they need to control the situation. They used to apply some tactics that was, were actually taking the person immediately to the ground for them to control him. And uh, afterwards, it was used also with some adaptations because it was exported to some other jujutsu use where they uh, changed the angles to damage more uh, according to what they intend to do and use some very special angles to do that based on the reaction that people could have on those situations. So we are here with uh, Shidoshi Luz Nogueira Serrano that is going to be our, our uke today for us to show you those aspects of ancient jujutsu. So uh, the first situation that we are going to see is actually his, he'll be facing towards me. Okay, so I'm just uh, showing you the technique actually for you to understand. And for an instance, I'm going to bring him down. So we're going to use the inferior area, the, the leg, especially to do that. And please remember that to do that, of course, we can do some impacts with the head against the face or some other aspect that you could use to give advantage to cause a bit of um, loss, loss of control by the person that we are going to, to apply the technique. But in any case, let's go directly to the technique itself. So, according to that, for instance, I'm going to cross my hands here and one hand comes to his left leg, the other one to the right leg, so I'm just going to bring him down doesn't matter, um, it will be applied violently, but we don't need that just for us to study. So we are here. So this technique is, the interesting thing is that, oops, sorry, we're going to use the knee joint to cause that control, to, to apply that control. So while he's coming down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass, you see here, the left leg over his knee. So I have this 90 degrees angle. You see here I have my leg also controlling the leg, of course because if I do that and I do not control when you do that, if it bring the leg then I lose it. Okay? So of course be aware that when we do that I have my leg here next to his area and remember that the knee is the center area of equilibrium and force of the leg. So based on that when I do that I control the leg here I have that control on the right leg and now my foot is coming on that angle, that open angle that we have here. When I do that, I'm going to do it very slowly. I'm going to sit down, lean down, and I have that control. And also, as far as I am, actually as close as I am for his thorax, the better. So that is one possibility. The other one is actually a more close angle where I pass to the other side. So I have that control. See here, my foot is going to adjust. Also, my leg, I have an open one, and I will control him here. Okay, I'm not going to force it because you see, that causes a lot of pain on the knee. Okay? So that is technique number one. Let's check the opposite way. As I am on his back, if someone is causing some confusion or some kind of a fight, something in the streets, I'm coming from his back again. That's here. My body is going to actually pull him down. I'm going to do it slowly for him just to hold. Okay, so now we have that situation. I have both legs here. To do that again, I'm going to cross one uh, under the other. So for instance, I'm going to change just for you to see the possibility. I'm going to cross the right one and it has to go underneath the knee. See here, okay? So we have the joint actually 
from this leverage situation that I'm going to use because I have to press it the base of the, the back for him not to turn around and while I'm doing that of course he's protecting his feet in that position it doesn't matter if he has the feet it will be far more dangerous because I'm going to step violently to break it so even to break the knee joint also we're going to affect, affect the, the foot and after it of course I could get any any artifact like a rope or something to grab him and control him and arrest him or the, the penalization that we have here so that's another one but let's check now some other situation with arms okay with our legs so now let's check the arms in this situation not going directly to the leg i'm going to catch the arms <coughs> on this one one is coming up i'm going to put my right foot in front of his this I'm going to control, of course this is going to force him down, see? And I have here, again, you see my leg is controlling the arm, okay? So I have here the joint if I want to impact or just control. And I have the control situation here without forcing too much power, <laughs> okay? And the other possibility, exactly, is in it. also the arms, this. When I bring it both up, I'm going to just turn around for you to see. Up, like one here. The other is here forcing against the join. So I'm going to press it. And the other one, when we stretch, we have that control over the elbow. And I'm going to press it. So depending on the angle that you put the uke, you also have a pressure on his back or any other way you have a pressure on the joint okay so as far as more stretch as this arm it is the better and this one also so we have the leverage here and let's say the last one for instance completely from up to down with an attack because we saw here a static situation uh, so, for instance, he's going to attack me like a Mako Uchi. So, be aware that that attack really comes violently. So, I have to bring my body down and I'm going to impact here. And of course, it's Jujutsu, so I will also use my head. And I'm going to bring him down on the legs. Just please fall down. Okay, so we are here. Okay. While my body was like this, I will grab his arm during the falling. So I am on his lateral. So you see here, I have control on his arm. I'm going to grab the wrist. My leg here will force his elbow while I'm coming diagonally down. See, I have my leg here. We have the elbow here. And we can do two things. The first thing is actually fracture the arm first, immediately, and then I'm going to go to the joint, the knee. So I can use also my leg, you see here is on his arm, no. and now I grab the knee, I have two pressures here, and I go back. I, I won't even lay down on the tummy because it's a very close lock. Okay, you harm your partner. So, so I hope you enjoy those uh, jiu -jitsu aspects. It's a very old aspect. Using some curious angles for you to practice. Please, they, please be aware that those locks really hurt. So pay attention to your partner while training. And I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.